so just to finish up this podcast recording, not the best I can for this much recording, but I don't have too much to share. But I saved the best for last. So January 30th to 31st, 2006, I was kind of having one of my lonely weekends because too many of my friends ended up going over to the anime Los Angeles in Ontario. And, you know, at the same time, um, you know, I got bombarded with bills at the beginning of the first month. So I really didn't do too much hanging around for the beginning of the year. But I did find a luck hope. So how I came across this was I was um checking uh, Pat the NES Punks' um, Facebook updates through Twitter and stuff. And I saw him sign up for a SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. And I'm also a huge fan of the podcast. And that's what inspired me, his podcast and his videos. So I researched the name of the w convention called SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. And since the convention was free and it'll be my first time checking out Frank and, Frank and Sons, I figured, you know what, I might as well go for it if it's a free event. So, so what I did was, you know, I, you know, found, you know, did my best to make my way. I woke up early, grabbed my bag, caught the early train, because, you know, I do a lot of solo adventures. And I finally got to Frankenstein's. It was my first time at Frankenstein's, because a lot of my friends in Soul Cal talk about the place. So I actually got there, and it was really awesome. And then while I was walking around, I asked them, do you know where the retro? They're like, through that way. And when I checked it out, and oh man, I was like, my first retro video game convention, it was really awesome. And I must say, the convention was really fun and awesome. I actually really enjoyed checking out my first video game convention, especially since it was geared more focused on retro gaming. So, you know, I did get do my best to get some videos. I didn't take much pictures, but I did get some videos for YouTube, so I'll be sure to upload that as soon as I can for you guys to check out. Oh man, it was one of the best moments. So I was, so I was kind of wandering around, and they had so many retro games merchandise on sale that you know I was surprised that you know they had all this really good stuff going. I saw a lot of stuff was an overpriced, unlike some that try to scalp you for your money. At least these ones were honest vendors. They had so many video games for sale and a lot of price reasonable. I was looking at some stuff they had to display, even the arcades out, and even had the games for play. I'd say a couple of my favorite highlights was, you know, I did get the chance to, like, see the giant NES controller in action. I saw, like, two people gave up at playing Super Mario when they were using the... Because the giant NES controller, it was, like, so huge that you need one person to operate D-pad in order to do the NB. I also tried to win, uh, what was it, uh, a reproduction car of a Star Fox weekend thing, but... I couldn't even get up to 100,000 points. But 40,000 was the best I could do. I was also wearing my Sonic the Hedgehog hoodie and jacket. And, you know, I really did get, like, tons of people giving me comments and stuff. I go, nice Sonic the Hedgehog gear. And I started to meet some more nerds and stuff. But I have to say, one of my favorite highlights was I finally got the opportunity to meet one of my favorite YouTubers known as Pat the NES Punk. And I actually got picture with him. I asked if I get a selfie with him and I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, and you know, got a chance to talk to him, share some of my interests and, you know, just let him know that thank you for the inspiration and I really enjoy the videos and I'm still enjoying the podcast. I still watch it a lot. It's always slim chance there might be one that I might not watch, but I still enjoy watching the podcast and after watching his as well as a bunch of other podcasts it inspired me to try this. So I really enjoy talking to him, share the interests and stuff. Got, aside from self, yeah, I also ended up going back to his vendor and figured I'd buy something just to, you know, show appreciate. So I was all like, how much for this Kingdom Hearts? I mean, $5. So I figured, okay, you know what? I'm buying this from a YouTuber. Might as well. <laughs> Popular YouTuber slash video gamer. So overall, SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, actually. Even though I only got to check out one day and not both days, I'd say it was worth checking out, especially if you're in, ever in the SoCal area. And if you ever go to Frankenstein's. Definitely check out SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. It's a must, especially for people who want to try to attend a video game convention for the first time. I would strongly recommend it. And the convention was actually really awesome, even though it was a small event. And I sure had a blast at that con, so I hope to maybe check it out next year. If not, I'm also looking forward to attending some of our video game conventions as well. So overall, SoCal Retro Gaming Expo was totally worth going to. And I thought I'd end it with sharing that. 
I got a chance to check out one of my favorite video game conventions. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed these recordings for um, February of Cosplayers Downtime Podcast. My name is Bernie Garcia, aka Surfer BRG. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos, and I'll see you next month with some more recordings.